All right, man. Y'all been waiting for this, man. Here it is. I'm going to go and get it on that the way kind of early. Floyd Mayweather versus uh, Canelo Alvarez, man. Uh, I'm not going to make this video long. I see this fight going one way. I'd be shocked if this turns out to be a a, 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 a battle. Well, I, I ain't going to say shocked because Floyd Mayweather always have problems when he, when he move up to 154. Or when he fight past the 150 pound mark, he always he he doesn't put on the best performance. But saying that, Saul Alvarez, man, I don't think he's gonna put enough pressure on Mayweather to to, to make this a tough a rough and tough fight, man. He gonna sit back and allow Mayweather to pot shot him, pick him apart. Mayweather faster than him. Mayweather has a better defense. Yeah, of course he's stronger than Mayweather, but that's about all the advantage he has over Mayweather, and he's younger, I guess, and that that's pretty much it. Okay, I I can see this fight going pretty much how Robert Guerrero fight went. He um, Saul he should do a little better than Robert Guerrero, but that, that that's about it, man. I I don't see this fight. I don't see him getting him beating the shit out of Mayweather because, like I said before, I remember when he fought Shane Mosley. I said the same exact thing. I said, man, he don't put enough pressure on his opponents, man. He's not gonna put enough pressure on motherfucking Shane Shane Mosley, man. Shane Mosley gonna do pretty good in that fight. Everybody tore my ass up. Shut up. You don't know boxing. You he gonna knock Shane out. Shane is Shane, and what happened? That shit went twelve round. He won a twelve round decision over old ass Shane Mosley, man. Stop. Get the fuck out of here, y'all. I know what the fuck I be talking about. I'm, am I right about everything? No. But I know what the fuck I be, I be talking about when it comes to this boxing shit. All right. Better go look at my goddamn videos. Um, like I said, dude, it, it looks good on paper. You know what I mean? The big guy, Canelo Alvarez. Ooh, but. You sit back and look at the way Canelo fight, man. He he should not give Mayweather too many problems, man. You know what I'm saying? His jab is not that active, so the only thing the only thing I can see him he he, uh, he might can catch Mayweather with a, with a shot and hurt Mayweather. That's about the only way I can see he can win this fight. As far as him getting here and beating Mayweather every round and winning the 12 round decision, that shit ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna fucking happen. And you ask me, I thought he lost to uh the dude Trout in his last fight. I thought that was a close fight. I thought he lost that fight there, man. So. I don't see him getting here and just beating May beating the shit out of Mayweather or nothing like that there, man. I got Mayweather winning a 12-round decision pretty fucking easy, man. You know what I'm saying? He may win 10 out of the 12 rounds. Something like that. You know? That's about it, y'all. Like I said, I'm not going to I'm not gonna keep this video... I'm not going to have this shit long as fuck, man, because I don't see nothing that... I mean, I don't see nothing that can, Canelo can do, though, besides motherfucking catching Mayweather with a good-ass shot and hurting him, man. Like I said, he's not going to outbox Mayweather. He ain't going to put enough pressure on him. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he would have went in there and put pressure on Mosley and got Mosley up out of there, you know what I'm saying? He, he, you know, that's how you got to fight Mayweather. You got to have a good-ass jab, man, or you got to put that pressure on that motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, like Ricky Hatton did. Ricky Hatton put that motherfucking pressure on his ass, dude. Or, or you got or Cotto, who had a good jab. You got to have pressure or, or a good jab, man, for motherfucking Mayweather. And if you put that pressure on him... You got to have a good chin because he's going to be catching your ass on the way in. You know? I'm telling you, you better go ask Ricky Hatton, God damn it. Everybody be, everybody be hating on that fight for some reason. Someone's like, oh, that wasn't, oh, Hatton ain't do shit. Hatton ain't, get the fuck out of here, man. Hatton rough motherfucking Mayweather ass up in that fight. Even though, even though Mayweather was winning round after round, round after round, Hatton was roughing his ass up, man. Y'all better open y'all motherfucking eyes up, man. The, the, those are the two roughest fights he had so far in the last couple of years that I can remember, man, was the goddamn Hatton fight. In the goddamn uh, Kodo fight, man. I'm sorry, though. That fight with him and Oscar, dude, that wasn't no rough fight, man. It, it, you know, it was he just sat there basically waiting for Oscar to tire out, man. That wasn't really a rough fight for Mayweather. You know, but that Hatton fight, that was a rough ass fight for him. That Kodo fight, Kodo was popping his ass with that jab, man, all throughout that fight, man. But I guess I'm going to leave that shit there, man. That's my prediction. Mayweather winning a 12 round decision over Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez is, is not going to do enough. He's gonna get in here and Mayweather's gonna be catching his ass, you know. And he's gonna, he's gonna, once he get caught, goddamn it, with a lot of shots and shit, he's not gonna be that aggressive. He's gonna start to slow down and just let Mayweather just cruise onto the decision. So that's what I see happening, man. And it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna holler at you. CB26 always talking shit.